Hey everybody, welcome back. I have another nail tutorial for you today. It's this Belle of the Ball design inspired by Belle's ball gown in the new movie. As always, start off with a good base coat. I'm using CND Sticky Base. All the polishes I'm using today are from the new Morgan Taylor Beauty and the Beast collection. This yellow one is Days in the Sun. It's such a gorgeous color. I have a review of that entire collection. I'll put a link to that down below. I received these products compliments of Morgan Taylor as part of the Pre-Me VIP program. This polish is a little sheer, so I did three coats of the yellow on all my nails. And now I'm going to show you how to do the detailing. For the gold detailing, I'm using Enchanted Patina, a beautiful shimmery gold bronze color. I'll just be doing this detailing around the edge, but you just want to make a little S shape, curling them around at the ends, and then adding a little dot to each end. And then going up the side of the nail, I'm going to do this little curly Q, and then another curly Q on the side of that, building up higher. And then adding a dot of paint to the end of each of those and going over any more spots that need to be filled in. Then on the other side of the nail I'm going to do a curly cue going the other direction. And I did do my nails different from each other so you can just do any of these variations along the edge of the nail. And then I'm just going to add some dots of paint in between a few of the designs to finish it off. Now you don't need to do it all the way up in the corner that you're going to do your rows, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now I'm going to clean off my brush and some acetone and I'm going to come in with the last petal. It's this gorgeous shimmery berry color and I'm going to go ahead and do that rose. So starting off for the center of the rose, you just want to do two C shapes curving into one another and then just working around them. I like to do curve shapes mixed with the boomerang shapes. I just think it gives the design a nice look. When you're finished with your rose, just make sure it's completely dry and then add your favorite top coat. I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. And that's the final look. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.